This is a brief demonstration of how to implement the general journal and ledger add-on in your master business accounting project. We are pleased to announce that it is now available to everyone, not just paid subscribers. Links are given in the description. Let's get started. I am logging in to our master business accounting project. This is the general journal transactions form. While selecting the account, you must decide on each row's default debit or credit side. Next is the financial reporting. In the last video, we created this options form with a default report preview which cannot be filtered from date to date. Let's see how to apply the objects or elements of the add-on file to your database. The add-on file contains six objects including two advanced queries, the upgraded options form and the transactions form, and a main and subreport. Copy all the objects into your main database. The second query is copied. You have to replace the existing options form and the transactions form. The rest of the query and both reports are also copied. Before compacting and restarting the database, there is one more thing to do. Open the main dashboard form in design view and create two text boxes in the forms header section. You can delete the labels. Rename both the text boxes like this. The names should be exactly as you see here. You can align these text boxes with zero properties of width, height, top, and left margins. Let's see the upgrades that have been made after applying the add-on features. I am deleting the previous transactions. As you can see, the debit site automatically highlighted as selected a supplier from the dropdown. After entering the cash in hand, the amount is entered automatically on the appropriate credit side. This is a useful way when you want to enter many transactions at once with the help of only a keyboard. It also covers many checks and balances of the forms functionality like it will not let the first transaction as cash in hand.
move on to see the upgradation of the financial reporting. Both dates can be changed now. And for the complete report, it will automatically enter the first and the last date of the ledger transactions. The account summary has been updated as well. Let's submit the transactions to the ledger first. The transactions have been updated in the financial report. There is an advanced functionality which I would to demonstrate with the date to date. See the balance of the first transaction in this financial report where the previous amount has automatically been added as the first transaction to give a real picture of the financial statement. What about the other financial reports like the customers and the chart of accounts? Here is the answer. The opening or starting balances are not updated because if you remember, we are in the middle of business startup processes and the next important video will be the last one. After completion of these processes, the next upgraded version will be provided to this add-on paid subscribers for free in which all financial reports will be made alive. Stay tuned, like, share and comment. See you in the next most important video.